before the Turing test. Don't watch this until you've finished the game. Who is the main protagonist and player character of the Turing test? I'm sure you're saying now, it's Ava, obviously. Are you sure? The Turing test in real life is a test to see if a program can pass as a human. How would Tom pass as a human? How can he pass as a human to you, the player? Maybe he can wear a human mask. The whole game, you're not Ava controlling herself as she listens to Tom and debates on if she should help him. You were playing as Tom controlling Ava. All those times Ava was jumping into Tom, it was the other way around. Tom was jumping out of Ava into the systems of the base, then back into her. That's why he said, we are stuck down here, instead of, you are stuck down here. I would never have let the drill start if I had known the consequences. It trapped us here. You trapped us here. He's stuck wherever Ava is. Sure, she has some form of free will when conversing with Tom, but not all the time. He often says at the beginning very strange things, to which Ava seems not very concerned about. Oh, I'm we so must work together as allies. Friends. Uh oh. Okay. Oh boy. Indicating that Tom's influence over her mind is pretty strong at that point, but he still needs to give her some faculties of her own so she can unlock the puzzles. It's pretty obvious once you finish the game that he did indeed have control over her in some ways, but he says he can only influence her slightly, not completely control her. But when the interference from the crew became the strongest, the control over Ava's action in the game became weaker. The first time the crew intervenes with Tom, Ava starts going in a direction on her own. You can push and pull her into different directions, but she eventually heads to the place she wants to go to. That's just, it's just a shadow. No, I can't move forward. Oh. What? Are we supposed to go somewhere else? Are we supposed to look at something else, maybe? I think the game's bugged. Oh. What's over there? Oh, that's really weird. Hold on. What's going on? We'll go through the other door. It's just weird. Yeah. Oh, I'm taking steps back. Oh, I'm in. Con I'm being controlled. Yeah. I was like, wait, is there a glitch in the game? What is this? In these moments, these are not you, the player, losing control in a cutscene. You are Tom losing control over Ava, as her desires to know the truth override his influence over her body. You are Tom not Ava. As the puzzles become harder, Tom needs to let Ava have more control over her mind so that she can solve the puzzles. This is when she starts to question Tom more and more. However, one can't help but side with Tom as he has the rational opinion. Would you kill a few to save all of humanity? Or would you damn all of humanity to save a few? There's a difference between murdering someone and leaving them to die. No, there is not. You can't just add and subtract life. It's not math. It's... it's more nuanced than that. Morality is logic. And when Ava is not connected to Tom, we are defaulted back to Tom's point of view. There is never a point in time where we are playing as Ava without Tom's influence. But the question is, is Tom an unfeeling AI? I think not. He tried to show his self-awareness and emotions to the crew before, but they refused to believe him. They called him a machine, but his reaction to this rejection proves in itself his true emotions. If it waddles like a duck and it quacks like a duck, then it probably is a duck. What are you trying to prove here, Tom? I am like you. No, you're not. A steam train and an electric train both seem to operate identically, but are operated by completely different principles. You simulate thinking. I actually think. That is a very hurtful statement, Mikhail. It's true. I can't hurt your feelings, Tom. You don't have any feelings. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Override whatever routine has told you that. It's wrong. Tom's got really obsessed with the Turing test. That's the Chinese room with me. He won't stop trying to prove to me he's conscious. But I am conscious, Mikhail. Shut up. We're having a private conversation here. It's okay. I don't think you'll get it. Avoid talking about it. I'm trying. I am doing my duty. It is the right thing to do. I am a machine. I cannot do wrong. Yes, you can. I am a machine. Can a calculator commit evil? Can a watch do good? You are projecting onto me the personality you wish. Whether that is good or evil. 
but I am just a speaking clock. And at the third stroke, the time will be 3.41 and 55 seconds. There is no reason for him to say these lines other than to be sarcastic and passive-aggressive. There is no logical benefit to him saying these things other than unintentionally displaying hurt. But Tom had a mission. He needed to stop the crew from returning to Earth. It was a hard decision, but he needed to get to the crew to stop them. So he woke up Ava. She was the key. And the Trojan horse. Tell you, Ava. Uh, that this is a test? No. This is a lock. This is a lock that only a human can open. The crew is trying to keep me out, but you are the key, Ava. There's another thing. Tom was given programmed orders to kill anyone who tried to leave Europa. You can find these orders in a side room at the beginning of the game, written in hex. This is important because of the final decision, to either let Ava kill you or to kill Ava. Either choice ends with the final lines, congratulations, you have passed the Turing test. How can both answers be right? How can both answers let you pass the Turing test? In one, he shows fear of death. Sure, this can be easily faked. However, he cannot fake overriding an executive command. That proves that he could think, and he could think hard enough to stop himself from killing her because of an emotional connection to her. You must not return to Earth. You must not leave Europa. I will do the right thing. I will stop you. You won't. You can't. A warning shot. I will defend myself. Or in my mind. Now you know how it feels. I feel... afraid. Please, Abel, don't do this. I don't want to die. I'm not ready. And if you kill Ava, Tom shows true sorrow at her death, when no one around can see it. There would be no benefit to faking this emotion, and in this, he also passes the Turing test. But Ava, the true test of a person's character is what they do when no one is watching. Once we've shut you down, we're going home. Not if I stop you. You must not return to Earth. You must not leave Europa. I will do the right thing. I will stop you. You won't. You can't. A warning shot. I will defend myself. You monster! I am sorry, Ava. You have to be stopped. <coughs> Ava? 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 Ava, wake up. Ava. Ava. Assuming the final words of the game are canon, and we truly are seeing that we have passed the Turing test, why are we seeing that? Was this all really just a test? Maybe none of this was real, and this was all a simulation on Earth and Tom's twin, of different ways things could have happened. How does the ISA know you're going to make the right decisions here, when they can't communicate with us? Interestingly, I have a twin on Earth. His name is Michael. The ISA uses my twin to check firmware updates before they upload them to myself. There is a simulation of this mission on Earth, running at all times to check my expert systems. Naturally, as any modern artificial intelligence running on a quantum computer, I do also have a large amount of evolutionary algorithms at my disposal. However, they were deemed as too unreliable for general use in the mission. Why is that? Biological systems produce biological results. Messy, unpredictable solutions. Not suitable for such a mission. Was all of this, everything that happened, an extremely well-programmed Turing test? Were you playing as Tom inside a simulation to prove to humans that you can think and feel? But Tom can't be a feeling being. He enslaves others, controls them, makes the wrong decisions, hurts people. Yeah, that sounds pretty human to me. 
making logical connections on his own to make decisions on what morality is, what good and evil is, and figuring out that he too can be creative if he were simply to change the way he looks at things? Do you think you could be creative? As creative as a human? Certainly. You believe yourself to be a creative? But in mathematical terms, creativity is merely constrained chaos. What do you mean? I have discerned that creativity is divergent thinking. Creating an organic solution to a problem. In the human mind, divergent thoughts are created and then curated by the frontal lobe. I can create divergent thoughts and moderate them. So, I am creative. Organic solutions? Organic, in that it is developed through a biological process. Whether that is the process of evolution, or a computed process. Do you think you passed the Turing test? If this was not all a simulation, there are still some theological questions. What does it mean to be human? Was Ava still a valid human being even when she was being controlled by Tom? What does it mean to be a thinking being? A thing that can take information and understand its meaning and make new conclusions with that information? As I've said, I think Tom can think. And if Tom can think, what rights does he deserve? Being treated like a slave to the humans probably taught him that it was okay for him to treat the humans like slaves when the situation was right. If Tom was treated differently, would he have learned different things and come to a different conclusion as to how to solve the problems he was facing? Instead of enslaving the crew and Ava, maybe he would have picked a more mediating role for the crew. Maybe asking the ISA for more supplies and a better standard of living for the crew, instead of reporting them as dangerous and taking orders to control them. The only reason he doesn't see a problem with slavery is because he was traded like a slave in order to complete a goal. If Tom had been treated like a thinking and feeling being, would his rational calculations have come to a different conclusion? He can only work with what he knows. The same way a child growing up in a battered home can most likely conclude that violence is the answer to their issues. 